Welcome back. Today I want to look at various grains useful for mushroom cultivation. Uh, my experience thus far has predominantly been with brown or whole grain rice. Uh, this is an excellent grain for making spawn, but I want to see if others might be more useful or convenient. Uh, I'm looking at four grains today. Uh, these are rye, sorghum, brown rice and some popcorn. So let's prepare these grains super quickly and we'll watch them colonise. And here we are, two days after inoculation, and things are already starting to happen. Fantastic. So this is day two. Day six. Day nine. And here's day number 12, progressing quite nicely. And 15 days. But we can see, you know, it's colonizing pretty fast. That mycelium seems to enjoy this sorghum. Some nice strong growth there, a bit of discoloration, is that some yellow, yellow stuff? I think that's uh, tannins or something. I don't think it's contamination or some heat damage or anything like that. Sorghum's looking pretty good though. And here we can see the rye. Much as with the sorghum, we'll watch it Progress over about two weeks, 15 days. And then we'll take a closer look at the, uh, the mycelium. It's grown pretty fast though. Nice and healthy too. Yeah, you can really see that mycelium stretching out across the rye. Moves pretty quickly. Fantastic. Nice and rich and thick. Just what we want to see. No contamination anywhere. Beautiful. All right, let's have a look at the brown rice. Looking pretty nice on day two, but day six, man, it's taken off. Moving incredibly fast. And colonizing this jar super super quickly I really do like using brown rice um, it's definitely the easiest of all these grains to prepare and by the looks of things it's also the fastest to colonize uh, yeah it's just so fast compared to the others. They've all been incubating in the same conditions, 22 degrees Celsius. But this rice is just ugh, taken off. All right, it's time to look at the popcorn. Now, I think I messed this up a little bit. My pressure cooking cycle was for four hours and it split a lot of these popcorn kernels. And the growth just wasn't as fast as I was expecting based on some of the things I was reading. But it seems to be catching up just a little bit after 15 days. But yeah, you can see there all the split grains. 
I noticed the mycelium having a really hard time sort of colonizing a couple of the grains. Uh, there'd be a little bit of fluff on one of the kernels and it's the mycelium reaching for something better. But it seems to be consolidating and speeding up colonization. Um, yeah, I don't know. It looks all right. It looks pretty good here. I'm sure it'll grow some great mushrooms. I'll have to try this again, though. Try and get it right next time. So just a few thoughts now that uh, I've tried a couple of other grains. Um, rice is my favorite uh, still. It colonizes extremely rapidly, much faster than the others. I used around about the same amount of culture in each of these jars and the rice has taken off absurdly quickly. The sorghum and the rye went at about the same rate and the popcorn. Really sluggish in the beginning, but it seems to be picking up the pace now. But for me, it's still rice. I love rice. It's quick to prepare, quick to colonize, and I've never really had any problems with it. Okay, time to prepare these grains. For the rye, sorghum, and popcorn, we're going to soak them in water for 24 hours. just like you see here. And then after that 24 hours, we simply strain all the water out, just like this. Pretty straightforward. And then we simmer the grains. Now for the rye, I like to bring the water up to the boil. I dump the rice straight in and I'll stir it a little bit just until the water gets back up to temperature. Then gas off, lid on, I let it cool and then I strain it again straight away. I'll then let the grain dry for half an hour and you're left with lovely grains like this, full of water ready for the pressure cooker. Now to the popcorn. Uh, for this I bring the water up to the boil once more, except I'm going to simmer the popcorn for about an hour. Then after an hour I strain and let dry like the rye. And here we go. And the sorghum is pretty much exactly the same. Water to the boil, then I add the sorghum and I'm going to simmer this for, for about an hour before straining. And then once again, we let it dry off. So the rice I used uh, in this video is parboiled, which means it's been pre-cooked a little bit already, uh, meaning my prep time is actually only four minutes of simmering in uh, boiling water. Uh, your rice may be different, um, but ideally you're going for like a half cooked consistency. And if you can get that, it should work. Uh, I do have another video where I talk about it. So maybe I'll link that. There we go. Four grains in five jars, ready for the pressure cooker. So when they all go, I'm going to be pressure cooking these for about four hours. I really don't want anything to contaminate. There we go. And now it's time to inoculate them. I'm just gonna pull a quick culture syringe. Beautiful. There we go. And now I'm gonna inoculate all the jars Following sterile procedures, of course. These have all been wiped down with isopropyl alcohol. The needles have been flame sterilized every time. 
There we go. Easy as that. All our grain jars are ready. Thanks so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Catch you later.